Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, I'm gonna look at heating elements. So let's go ahead and take a look. Heating elements are part, as the name suggests, of your heater and it is the the internal part that physically creates the heat in your electric heater and it will look something like this now in this video i'm going to dive in to take a look at how they work i'm going to talk about how we can replace them when they need replacing and i'm also going to talk about the is when it is time to actually change the heating element now, before I do that, always a great opportunity, you know I like to get this in there, for me to say, please do subscribe to the channel, hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I do two long form videos just like this every single week, a whole bunch of shorts and everything on my channel focuses on DIY hot tubs, plunge pools, hot tub parts, SLC pumps, and, and pretty much everything in between. Okay, so how does a heating element work? Well, the heating element is part of the, the heater body, which is a flow-through heater, and that requires the water of your hot tub to come from the pump and be passed through the heater. Now, unlike uh, an immersion heater or something like that, the flow-through heaters do require the water to, to keep moving, and as the water moves through, it moves through, over and around the heating element, it absorbs the heat from the heating element and the water heats up. Pretty straightforward, but the heating element is kind of key because without that, you haven't got any electric heat. Now it works by AC current. So the actual connectors on the heater, and I'll circle these behind here, are non-polarity sensitive. Because it's alternating current, you just need two hot connections to the heating element, and the, that will cause the actual element to, to heat up. Now, the power of the heating element can vary depending on which kind of a, a, a heater you have. So it might be a, a three kilowatt, a four, a five and a half kilowatt, and, and that really depends on the spa pack and the setup that you have, but they work in exactly the same way, regardless of the size or the capacity to heat. How do we know when it's time to change or replace the heating element? Well, firstly, if the hot tub isn't heating, if it's not heating properly or that the actual temperature is, is fluctuating even when it's been set, that can be an, an indication that the heating element has actually gone bad. A real obvious one is if it's tripping the breaker. So if you've identified that it is the heater that is actually tripping your breaker, so if, if on your spa pack you've unplugged the, the actual heater from the board, it's all running fine and as soon as you plug that back in it trips. The chances are your heating element has broken down. They do this over time, they corrode and when it gets to, to that kind of stage it is time to actually replace them. Now replacing them is something that you can do yourself. It's very straightforward to do. Now each model is slightly different in terms of the, the, the layout of the, the actual element itself, but they all work in, in exactly the same way. So there will be a couple of bolts that you need to remove. Firstly, of course, you've got to turn off the breaker on your hot tub. You don't want to be working on that with any current at all going through it. Removing the heating element should just be a case of a couple of bolts that you're going to undo. And you can see a, a, an example element here the bolts are clearly visible. They bolt into the, the tubular chamber. You can just remove that out, take away the element, drop in a compatible new one. And if you do need some help with a new element, drop me a line. I can put you in the direction of one that's compatible with your spa pack. Screw in the new element, connect it back up to the, the two hot terminals. Put your breaker back on and you're ready to go. It really is that straightforward. If you get stuck, of course, give me a shout. I'm sure I can help point you in the right direction. Just a short video this week. I hope you found it useful. If you have, don't forget to give me a like. Any questions, hit me up in the comments. Of course, I appreciate the view. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.